Cannabis and addiction affects all of us. It destroys families and ultimately all of our communities. You're about to see what happens when one lady decides to help young women break the cycle of addiction, one person at a time. Some people call this month's community hero an angel. Here's why. Children hurting, teens dying, families torn apart. Alcohol and drug abuse touches every part of our community. I was just a very selfish individual. Um, I felt like I amounted to nothing. Brandy Reed was a meth addict for 16 years. Her daughter still suffering developmental side effects because of it. But today, Brandy is a mom who's clean and on the right track, dedicated to her family. It is a far cry from where she was just two years ago in jail, facing 80 years in prison. There was a phrase on the bottom of my bunk in the county jail. I said, this too shall pass. That was my, one of my very first questions to her. What does that mean? And so she showed me through scripture that um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Brandy's answer and transformation came through Tammy Tidd, an unassuming woman with a huge heart. She is an awesome, amazing lady. Her energy, the unfailing energy this woman has. In addition to her family, work, and her church, Tammy is also a jail chaplain taking the Celebrate Recovery program inside the Boone County Jail. She spends hours mentoring and encouraging many of the young women society has given up on, showing them how to overcome struggles with alcohol and drug addictions that lead to a life of chaos. The sad thing, it's a revolving door. There's so many girls that come in and out, you know. Um, there's just not enough help to people to help them, to mentor them, to see change. Tammy's message? For one, you're not a bad person. You matter to God. You know, your life can be different. She spent a lot of time, a lot of quality time. Every Monday night she would come out and mentor me for hours, it seemed like um, endless hours, just leading me through the Bible. And six months ago when Tammy was diagnosed with stage three cancer, it looked grim. She was too sick to make it to the jail. That's when all of these letters and prayers started pouring in from so many girls at the jail the girl she spends hours discipling. It was now their turn to take the lessons she's taught them and encourage and pray for her. This is Tammy's cancer-free celebration and one surprise Fox 59 and Community Health Network is so excited to pull off. Tammy, on behalf of Community Health Network, for the month of June, you are our community hero. You're so deserving. I love these girls. I want to touch someone's life. My life has been changed and I know how that feels. Tammy is doing it in such a big way. Right now she is raising money to start a recovery house for women serving Boone and Marion counties. She is hoping to be ready to open that house sometime this year. As far as Brandy, well, Brandy is now committed to helping other young women break the cycle of addiction, just like Tammy helped her. We wish them both the best. We will definitely keep up with them and let you know how they do. Now, if you know someone that should be honored with the Community Hero Award, I want to hear their story. So go to fox59.com slash community hero and nominate someone you know. She touch, has touched so many lives and it was really yeah. neat to see how they in turn uh, gave yeah. that love right back to and her. And there are so many yeah. women just like Brandy walking around central Indiana who have been touched by Tammy yeah. Tidd. That is really yeah. a special story, Finch, and thank you. Right now we're going to check out our weather for the rest of this week and the coming weekend because it's comfortable now. But